Jan, I understand you're all living out of a suitcase nowadays. Yes, we've been extremely busy. We've been opening offices in lots of new territories because demand is rising and we want to make sure we take um, the best of those opportunities. So, yep, I've been going to our office in Korea, the office in Houston, we've got office in South Africa, we've got another new office in India, just opened an office in Saudi Arabia, and now we have also an office in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai. So, yes, I have been living out of a suitcase for the last few months. So, obviously, it's busy times. Where is this demand for nickel alloys coming from? Mostly from the oil and gas industry. I think there is demand in other sectors, but the oil and gas and the petrochem side, the value-added side, is really where we're finding that the, the um, demand is coming from. Nickel alloys are used in a wide range of applications, but the oil and gas industry really seems to be booming at the moment in terms of new projects. Uh, so are people looking then for specific grades or product forms, or is it interest across the board? No, there is a small number of alloys, uh, the Monels, the 625s, um, Inconel and Incoloy 825. Those are the ones that are generally used in um, oil and gas extraction, but also in processing, in the value-added processing. So it's mainly in those areas and mostly in seamless tubulars. We're finding a big demand in seamless and welded tubulars at the moment. Now, we understand that uh, the operators are asking the EPCs for guarantees for the equipment. What does that mean for the materials of selection? Well, it's been very good for us in terms of the demand for nickel alloy going up because companies now are being asked to recommend um, materials that will ensure that, that none of the equipment leaks, there'll be no environmental impact, there'll be no failure in service. And quite often the critical areas that you're using nickel alloys for, well, you have to use nickel alloys for those parts of the equipment because that's the only way you can guarantee there will be no failures in service. So that's been a very, very good thing for the, for the nickel alloy industry. I just heard one of your colleagues talking about uh, technical support. What does that mean for your company? We're very keen on technical support. I think it's one of the things that we do that um, a lot of other distributors and stockists don't do. And, and we have a lot of expertise within the company. We have welding engineers, pipe engineers, um, aerospace engineers, weapons engineers. And what we try to do is match up what the customer is trying to achieve with what the mill is capable of. And the mill not necessarily wanting to do that directly for the customer. So we put in services in between that actually means the customer gets what they need for the job and it fits with what the mill is actually, cap actually capable of doing. So that's, that's really what I mean by the technical support that we give. We also help them to write the specifications. So obviously there's a massive demand for nickel alloys. Do you think there's enough supply to meet demand? There is at the moment, but I think it's going to deteriorate as the year goes on. I think by mid next year, the deliveries are going to be pushed out to 40 and 50 weeks. We've seen this happen before. It happens in the industry on a cycle basis. And I'm hoping that there will be some extra capacity coming into the industry, but there's no guarantees of that. So my, my, my recommendation would be if you're looking for nickel alloys, then get your orders in quickly because it, it's going to be quite difficult to achieve.